Well, it is a crucial day for anti-Modi top cop Sanjeev Bhatt as a Sessions Court will decide on his bail plea today. Of course, it has been 17 days since Bhatt was arrested for allegedly forcing a police constable to sign a false affidavit against Gujarat's Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Joining me on the phone line for more is Abhishek. Abhishek, uh, it is a crucial day for him, of course. It's already been 17 days and his bail plea has been deferred time and again. How do you uh, see uh, the day panning out for him today? Well, Nupur, yes, uh, it's been a long wait for Sanjeev Bhatt to come out of jail. Uh, the bail hearings were protracted and there were a lot of contestations between both the sides. Uh, state arguing that uh, Sanjeev Bhatt has committed a crime and he is an influential man in the sense that he is a former uh, suspended IPS officer and uh, he still can influence uh, the complainant who is his former junior and to that extent he should not be granted bail. Also, uh, the order on revision remand petition is also pending for the state. So, according to them, uh, Bhatt should not be granted bail so long as the remand petition order is not there. And uh, Bhatt's side maintaining that it's a witch hunt, it's a frame-up, because Sanjeev Bhatt has been single-handedly taking in the Narendra Modi government, specifically targeting the chief minister for his involvement in the Godhra riots, as also in a latest affidavit that was filed uh, in August, uh, uh, in implicating the chief minister and his former Ed Amit Shah in the Harin Pandya murder as well. So all those arguments having taken place, the order was kept for today. Uh, that, that is to come up at around 11 in the session score of Judge V. Kivyas. And uh, uh, that's when we would know whether Sanjeev Bhatt comes out or, 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 or remains in jail. So that is expected just about an hour and a half from now, Nupur.